If people like Energy Minister Chris Bowen are so confident that renewables are the cheapest form of energy and nuclear is supposedly the most expensive, well, why don't they just repeal the ban and let the market decide? Well, I think that's the point I'd make. There is no harm to lifting the ban because if nuclear was indeed the most expensive form of energy and if nuclear reactors took too long to build, then not a single one would be built in this country, which would mean that there would be no issue for the politicians which do find issues with nuclear energy. The other thing I'd say is even if nuclear energy was the most expensive form of power, if you ban things just because they're too expensive, then why wouldn't Snowy Hydro 2 be banned? Why wouldn't Teslas be banned? Why wouldn't solar panels back in the day be banned? Why wouldn't even Gucci handbags be banned? It makes no sense to justify a ban on the basis of economics alone. And that's why I'm fighting so hard through my youth campaign, Nuclear for Australia, for the out of touch nuclear energy ban to be lifted in this country. And it is um, really extraordinary, isn't it? They're justifying, oh, it's you know we're not going to use it because it's supposedly going to be too um, expensive. I mean, you may, you mentioned Snowy Hydro, which of course was subject to cost blowouts. There's a real hypocrisy there, I think, isn't there? I would agree, because if you look at Snowy Hydro, that's blown out by billions of dollars and it's going to take more than a decade to construct. And that's not even a project which is going to produce power. It's simply a battery which is backing up renewables. And there's been delays in those as well. But I think the thing is, you can look at the economics of nuclear energy all you like, but until you lift the ban, there is no way of simply understanding the cost of nuclear energy because Vendors are not actually allowed to submit their plans and their proposals to the minister for nuclear reactors to be built, at which point the clearest indication could possibly be made about the cost of nuclear energy. So rather than looking at reports like the GenCost report, which is heavily contested at the moment, um, the best indication you can see is when you look around the world. And the fact is that around the world that they are realising the economic viability of nuclear, and that's why 50 countries for the first time are considering opening up civil nuclear power reactors, and they wouldn't be considering that if nuclear was indeed, as the Minister for Climate Change said, the most expensive form of power generation. That's what I find so odd about Chris Bowen's comments. He goes on and on, doesn't he, about how nuclear is supposedly the most expensive form of energy. But then you've got countries like France, for instance, who, who use a lot of nuclear and their, their power bills are something like half of what Germany's are, which also has a lot of renewable energies, but no nuclear. How can Chris Bowen just sit there with a straight face and say this about nuclear when if you just look overseas, you'll see a totally different story. Look, I think, unfortunately, the situation here in Australia is that the climate wars, whatever the government says, are ongoing and both sides have been involved in those climate wars. Like, I have a serious question for the coalition. Why didn't they do anything on lifting the ban for more than a decade when they were in government? So it's both sides of, both sides of politics really need to have a firm look at themselves and question why do they still oppose certain technologies and have prejudice against certain technologies like nuclear which is proven to provide clean reliable ele electricity when truly we should have all options on the table if we want to avoid blackouts and successfully reach net zero so that's a serious question for the government because i think at this point they are finding any reason they can to maintain the ban it's clear australia even look at the fact that Australians support lifting the ban on nuclear energy. A Q&A poll last week found that I think it was something like six, over 60 percent, around 60 percent of Australians support lifting the ban. So the people are telling them the ban has to be lifted. At this point, the only reason why it's not being lifted, I think, is unfortunately due to ideology.